The NFL is a game of pure drama and speculation. Join me as we tell you about the biggest what ifs in NFL history. Let's begin. Number 10. What if Barry Sanders didn't retire early? One of the greatest running backs, Barry Sanders, was a legend of the sport. He was so close to taking the NFL's all-time rushing record, but sadly, he had other things on his mind. He dropped the biggest bombshell ever, a mind-scrambling decision to walk away from his NFL career when he was at the very top. This confused fans and teammates alike. He had just signed the most lucrative deal in NFL history and had four more years left on his contract but he decided he had had enough. In the next 20 years, the Lions never won a playoff or a division championship. All of this would have been very different if Barry would have stayed. Number 9. What if Greg Cook got proper medical attention? Greg Cook was drafted in the first round of the AFL draft in 1969. He was a prodigy and was expected to be able to thrive as a professional football player. But sports is a cruel mistress, and like so many before and after him, his promising career was cut short by a tragic injury. In just his first ever season, he got a horrible rotator cuff injury, but due to the limitations of the time, this went completely unnoticed by the club doctors. He actually played on through the rest of the season, even incredibly going on to win Rookie of the Year. Now that is remarkable, but the damage it did to his body was irreversible. His Rookie of the Year proved just how great he could have been, but the injury all but finished his career as soon as it was starting. What could have been if the injury was properly looked at? We missed out on a potential NFL legend. What if the Packers didn't exist? It is fairly obvious what a football team can do for a city. Teams bring people, they drive the economy, and generally build goodwill and interest of the city that they are situated in. For the most part, all the large cities have teams of their own, and some, like Los Angeles, even have two of them. That's why the Green Bay Packers are such an oddity, because Green Bay has a small sliver of the people that many other major football cities have. Due to being miles away from the nearest large city and having a population of just over 100,000 people, they are definitely one of the best stories of the league. But what if they had decided on settling in a big city? The cult-like status of Packer legends such as Vince Lombardi and Brett Favre would not at all be the same. The people of Green Bay practically worship their team. Such adoration would never have been possible in any other city. Number 7. What if Joe Namath hadn't won? Joe Namath is a man who is widely considered to be one of the greatest in the NFL. But what if he had not won Super Bowl III? Would he still have achieved such legendary status as he does now? When he guaranteed that the New York Jets would defeat the Baltimore Colts, he jump-started his own legend. But what would have happened if he lost the game? So much of his legend is built upon his supreme confidence. That loss would have certainly dented that mentality and affected his play. Everyone else's confidence in him would have been shaken. The time he missed due to injury would maybe not have been tolerated by the organization if he hadn't won. Number 6. What if the Falcons kept Brett Favre? After stunning fans with his recovery from a near-fatal car crash and taking Southern Mississippi to a record run, Favre was drafted by the Falcons in 1991. Coach Jerry Glanville never liked him and openly said, it will take a plane crash for me to put Favre in. This was perhaps one of the most short-sighted views in NFL history. Favre was traded to the Packers, where he cemented his legacy as one of the greatest to play the game. He became a three-time MVP and Super Bowl champion, and put up fantastic numbers regarded as one of the best Packers players ever. If the Falcons would have just kept him, they would have benefited from his stardom, and it would have seen them put into some serious playoff contention and even possibly champions. Oh, what could have been? Number 5. What if the Patriots went undefeated? Something that always grates Patriot fans is that one catch that prevented them from having the greatest season in NFL history. After finishing 16-0, crushing the Giants, and adding the championship would have capped off the best season the NFL would have ever seen. Boston stores already had perfection shirts printed and ready for the victory parade. Alas, 
This was not meant to be, as Eli Manning crushed those hopes by throwing a stunning pass, which resulted in a touchdown and ended the Patriots' dreams. Now, if they had just hung on, you would still be seeing 19-0 shirts all over the place. It would certainly have been the greatest season ever seen. It probably would have stopped Patriots coach Bill Belichick from using underhanded tactics such as the infamous deflate gate as well. Number 4. What if the Immaculate Reception Failed? It is wildly known as the most controversial NFL play ever. Losing with 30 seconds left in the clock in the 1972 AFC Divisional Playoff, the Steelers were desperate to beat the Raiders. Terry Bradshaw threw a pass that hit Jack Tatum and fell to the ground before Franco Harris picked it up and ran for the winning touchdown. It would spark the Steelers to their first Super Bowl victory, but many argue that the pass itself was illegal. Had that been the case, the Raiders would have won and possibly gone on to win the Super Bowl as well. This would have been a huge blow to the Steelers, and perhaps they never would have won so many Super Bowls going forward. Bradshaw would still be considered a good quarterback, but definitely not to be ranked amongst the best that he is now. One pass could have completely altered the fate of the game. Number 3. What if Johnny Unitas doesn't play? It is a very rare thing that one man can change an entire sport, but that is exactly what Johnny Unitas did. Setting all kinds of records, he made the quarterback spot one of the most important positions in football and completely transformed the game. A leader on the field, a flashy passer, he single-handedly turned the NFL into a more dynamic sport and made it popular within the nation. But it almost never happened because Unitas was cut by the Steelers and he was working as a construction worker. He got a fortunate break in the form of a tryout with the Colts. Without this break, Unitas would have never set the records that he did and the Colts would have never won so many titles. The greatest game ever played? A 1958 Colts vs. Giants battle, and that would not have taken place either. So many future quarterbacks would not have had the inspiration that was Unitas, and the evolution of the sport would have taken a lot longer. Number 2. What if the Tuck Rule wasn't enforced? The rise of the Patriots and subsequent dominance of the NFL would probably not have been as astronomical without the Tuck game. In the 2002 AFC playoff between the Patriots and the Raiders, an apparent recovered Raiders fumble was overturned by the refs into an incomplete forward pass. Now, controversy about this incident is still sparked to this day, with Raiders fans adamant that they were ripped off. The incident let the Patriots win the game and sent them on their way to their first ever Super Bowl title. Without this rule enforced, Raiders would have won and probably also went on to win the Super Bowl. They would have seen John Gruden stay in Oakland and prevent the Buccaneers from winning their title the next year. Gruden could have become a legend for Oakland, and it would have definitely stopped them from falling down to the bottom of the league as they did in the mid-2000s. The Patriots dynasty would not have started, and it might have taken them much longer to even forge it, leaving Brady with at least a couple less rings on his hands, and the power of the NFL would have certainly shifted. Number 1. What if Jim Brown hadn't retired early? Jim Brown in his prime was one of the most dominating players in the NFL. In nine seasons, the Brown star made a name for himself as the greatest rusher the game had ever seen. He set a record with 12,312 yards and led the Browns to the NFL title. Sadly, in 1966, he stunned everyone by announcing his retirement at the top of his game. It was a tough decision, but Brown felt like he needed to go out on top rather than hang on to past glories. If only he stayed longer, Brown would have definitely added more to his record, easily cementing him as the greatest rusher of the NFL. He would have kept the Browns in title contention for a long time, and he would have helped shift the power of the league to the AFL. With Jim Brown still on the team, the Browns could have actually won a Super Bowl. He is still respected, but his legacy in the game, had he stayed for a few more seasons, would have been insurmountable. That's the wrap for the biggest what-ifs in the NFL. What intrigued you the most about this thought experiment? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for videos like this. See you in the next one.